Hi, back again. Eli Smith here with the Mountain Pine East program on day two of our documentary on the Gulf Coast oil spill. Right now I'm being joined by our cameraman Wyatt Caldwell. He's here right now to share with us a couple of his thoughts on what we have done so far today. Well, we're going to try and keep it as short and simple as possible because it is now 1230 at night. Yeah, it's actually Thursday. Yes, Thursday came and snuck up on us. Uh, we've all uh, logged over four hours of video. Our projected goal is 12 hours. So as you can see, we've got a long way to go. But we do have uh, many tapes sitting up here on the shelf waiting to be logged. It's just too late uh, during the night to do that. We have had um, and we've interviewed a variety of people, um, especially uh, BP employees. We have interviewed a restaurant owner, um, a roadside grocery store, a uh, shrimper who is actually working at that same grocery store due to the oil spill um, taking its business out, and um, many environmentalists. We are currently traveling to uh, Biloxi, Mississippi. Um, the next update will be Thursday. Today. We'll be shooting another update later today. It might actually be Friday, but we'll be shooting again from Biloxi, Mississippi. Yeah, uh, tune in then if you want to keep on joining us. We'll be here. We will now be showing you a video of a brown pelican. We thought this was kind of interesting, so we'd like to show you this video. All right, guys, get ready. They're all entangled with each other. They're, they're that hot. Their body temperature is that hot. Bird. Yeah, that's That's wild to think the birds. And that's why they I mean, we're, we're like what, 96? 96, 96 yeah. degrees? And a bird that is Again, we'd just like to say thank you to our wonderful friends at Audubon, Arkansas, and in particular, Mary Smith, for taking us to and from everywhere that we've needed to go to get these amazing shots. We'd also like to thank um, our Mountain Pine School for allowing us to go on this trip, and our wonderful East facilitator, uh, Mr. Michael Vincent. <laughs> 